arms crossed, gazing out over his former land, is a figure known as the Eternal Indian. A light on his chest illuminates his face against the trees at night. Taft's 48-foot-high sculpture was completed in 1911 as a tribute to all the Native Americans who once called Illinois home. Over time, it's come to be associated with a Sauk leader known as Black Hawk. The battles he and his people fought with the U.S. government to keep their land here on the Rock River are famously known as the Black Hawk War. One of the most important battles happened here in the state's northwest corner near the present-day city of Galena. In the 1820s, Galena boomed when lead was discovered in the region. Other settlements were soon established nearby, including one at a place called Apple River. In the spring of 1829, members of the Sauk and Fox tribes returned from their winter hunts to discover that the miners had taken over their villages. The tribes were forced to resettle on land on the west side of the Mississippi. But in 1832, Black Hawk and hundreds of members of the tribes crossed back over the Mississippi to try to reoccupy their land. When miners in Apple River heard the news, they raced to build a fortified wall around their cabins for protection. Their Apple River fort has since been reconstructed. On June 24, 1832, Black Hawk and about 200 warriors arrived and then attacked the fort. But the miners and their wives fired back and after 45 minutes, Black Hawk decided to give up, thinking he was outgunned. Almost six weeks later, the chief and his people suffered a final horrifying defeat when U.S. forces chased them into the waters of the Mississippi and then fired on them at will, slaughtering hundreds of their men, women, and children in what came to be known as the Bad Axe Massacre. Black Hawk was one of the few survivors and later died of illness in Iowa. Today, Laredo Taft sculpture stands as an impressive reminder of what happened to Black Hawk and his people here in Western Illinois. In his final speech before he died, Black Hawk said, Rock River was beautiful country. I loved my towns, my cornfields, and the home of my people. It is yours now. Keep it as we did. The year after the Black Hawk War ended, the city of Chicago was incorporated on the shores of Lake Michigan, and Illinois was about to undergo its transformation from a series of frontier outposts to one of the most powerful states in the nation. 